Hi, my name is Alex Granados, reporter for Education NC. And I'm Liz Bell, also a reporter for Education NC. And we are here to give you a week in review of what's been going on this week at the General Assembly and around the state in education. I will lead off by saying that originally uh, everybody had anticipated that the details of the budget compromise would be presented uh, sometime today. That's uh, Friday, in case you're listening to this on a different day. Uh, but it looks like that is not going to happen. The compromise budget bill was not read in today, so it is looking like that is more likely to come Monday, uh, possibly with votes next week. We'll see. Um, also this week was the Charter School Advisory Board. Um, I wrote an article on it you might want to check out. It was a very, there was a very interesting ex exchange between the Charter School Advisory Board and Heritage Collegiate, a charter school in uh, Bertie County. Um, that evidently has a lot of problems that the Charter School Advisory Board was taking issue with. Um, ultimately, that charter school is going to be allowed to operate till December, but there are many stipulations that they have to adhere to in order to stay open. Uh, also this week, uh, Senate Bill 599, a bill that expands uh, basically educator preparation programs in North Carolina past the full Senate. Um, right now, educator preparation programs are principally done through institutions of higher education. Uh, this bill would expand that to other groups. Um, a couple name, or one name in particular mentioned was Western Governors University. Uh, they're likely to be others. Uh, and Liz, what have you been working on this week? So this week, I've heard from um, multiple <clears throat> teachers and administrators. Um, and I've been asking them about their experiences with end of grade tests and receiving those scores back. Um, in many cases, teachers are having to come in after their contract is over, after the last required work days, um, to fix their students' grades once they do receive those scores. Um, certain tests that have open-ended responses have to be sent off to the state, and then a testing consulting company um, deals with those constructive responses. Um, and so, it's been very interesting, and um, I will be continuing to um, cover that situation, and you should check it out at ednc.org. And you can find me, obviously, at ednc.org, also on Twitter, at a Granadister. And you can find me on Twitter at at Lizabelle. All right, thanks for listening.